it's good to be alive it's good to be alive i jumped off that briar wall and i ran like a bat out of hell it's good to be alive it's good to be alive i don't know how much longer i'll be alive i know these guys are gonna die but at least i'm alive <laughs> <laughs> Yay, wokest. <laughs> well, well, now, hold on now. Hold on. I could just tell it was going to be just like the Battle of the Bands. Everybody showing up like it was some kind of party. And they said there were vamps on one side of the briar and boys who were trying to kill us on the other. So, yes, yes, I ran. I ran till I couldn't hear the screams no more. And there were a lot of screams and I had to run real, real far. I climbed down and I found the patrol of dead just just standing there. And one of them was holding a scepter with diamonds and rubies. And when I grabbed it, he came after me and all the rest of them came after me too. And if you have not tried to run outrun a vampire, you have not lived, my friends. But that battle, I've heard this song before. I've sung it. Not sure I want to play my part in the undoing all over again. And I felt what I felt on the battlefield that winter morning two years ago. That's when the Monterans led their rabble against the tower. And Waverly and Vrea and Faust teamed up and set the whole valley ablaze. It was a joke when we saw the Monterans run into the mountain. And someone said, how many dead? And somebody else said, ten. And that number just stuck. Ten. But I know there were bodies strewn everywhere. The, red, the river was red. Faust and his cavalry chased what was left of the royal retinue up to the red cloud. They couldn't have known the foreigners knew how to use the ladybone passage out. And Waverly, he just mopped up the elves and the gnomes. And Prince Adair and Oglethorpe took the humans and killed those they could find. And I felt it all right there on the briar wall as Jonas and Abel and Filnir planned some kind of magical destruction and all the same players showed up besides. I don't know, but maybe Bezalith the White has the right idea of it. Maybe we don't deserve this beautiful valley. But one thing I do know is, uh, what time is it, fellas? Is it time for Dungeon Dads? <laughs> it's it is. It's def it's it's definitely time for Dungeon Dads. Yes. Yes. He will rise. He will fall. I see him on the front line, standing tall. They're risking life and limb to answer the call. But what they fight me for? Don't know, don't care. Just along for the ride, but if you want my stand, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna win inside. All right, everybody, welcome back to the podcast. That was quite uh, the introduction. Oh wow. man, we left things in a weird spot. I'm telling you. Uh, but first, I want to start with introductions. We're joined, as always, by Sam the War Priest. <laughs> <laughs> first bill first although, bill although maybe not this episode maybe not this episode. Oh, oh sorry i no, no cut stop right there we're joined as always by sam the archer with a magical soul <laughs> hi everybody yeah. yeah tim the small child who's also made up many new magics and going by the name of florn hi everybody <laughs> oh that's good <laughs> and uh john the wizard yeah, yeah, <laughs> foreshadowing. John oh, the wizard, man. brush him off. It's going to be yeah. gone. I'll yeah. teach him a few things, don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, oh, yes. Jonas Silverwind, I am surviving. <laughs> well, guys, I'm super excited about this. Um, do you remember where we left off? Indeed. Yeah, so we left off with uh, 
Filnir and Abel very far away. They just saved Woke Assass. And now they're two men on one horse. <laughs> two men, one horse. Four making them. their four way to <laughs> four men. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I think you're gonna want to take that horse. Um, making their way back to Lake and Hearth. And we've got Jonas with Florn and a whole like small band of Lake and Hearthians. Lake and Harthers. What's the proper like? Yeah. Uh, I like Lake and Harthers. Lake and Harthens. Yeah. Lake and Harthers. <laughs> Lake and Harthers. Uh, um, making their way back to try and protect this. Um, and uh, you guys, you guys want to just get right into it? Let's I just think, do it. I think we should. Okay. okay. All right. All right. So let me let me get my bearings here. So John. Ionis is on this war wagon, and he is with uh, Florn. Uh, there is a there is a Lake and Hearth guard that is that is uh, uh, the driver of the of the carriage here. You've got a an archer named Rolo on there, and you have another uh, uh, priest, another war priest, with you uh, on the wagon, and you have a tied up Despo Good Shower. You also have, I mean. About twenty-five footmen and another six uh, mounted warriors from Lake and Hearth uh, going through the woods, and this dappled light breaks through the dark green canopy of the forest, uh, and you see that there are three riders who are about one hundred and twenty uh, feet to your north. They're obviously casing you. Um, they just sort of dance in and out of view between the trees. This is a very young growth forest. So Mm -hmm. um, you've got trees that are sometimes two or three feet apart. And because the war wagon is moving not as fast as a, as a, as a rider would um, it's going fast enough that you're getting just very small glimpses of the riders that are, that are riding with you, but you've counted three. And uh, just before uh, the, the, the gentleman left, uh, before Filner and, and Abel left, you cast Sky Right. Do you remember what you wrote in the sky? Um, I was writing writing uh, some secret message to uh, Lake and Hearth. Um, I can't remember the exact words. <laughs> it it's said, so it said the, the Department of Agriculture needs help harvesting. And some and then, weird and face a, you made. And then a uh oh face. Uh oh face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so the three riders that are out there, one is on like a spirit horse. Uh, mm-hmm. And then two are on uh, are on real horses. One of them it looks like a war horse, mm-hmm. and uh, the one on the glowing blue horse wears a like a yellow uh, robe. And you hear from the yellow robed rider call out the arcane incantations of dispel magic. Even though you're 120 feet away, you can mm-hmm. still hear it. It's like it's loud, mm-hmm. um, and that's when you see all your words to dis- to Yvonne disappear from the sky. Okay. Uh, you also hear a young, pious man's voice just from nowhere uh, call out, Conlat, ride like the wind to the dragoons in the Lake Spire Pass. Tell them that the Lake Sherians know we're coming. Vria, with me. The rebel prince rides like a coward on the wagon. We'll earn our talents on this day. Onward, Callahan. May Yisbin fell the coward king. And then you hear... Yes, we'll burn them all to the ground, Lord. And this is uh, Vria. You take it in the yellow in the yellow cloak, uh, and she casts a spell on the third rider. And you presume it is the rider named Conlat, and he turns his horse away from you and begins riding incredibly fast right toward Lake Spire Pass. Vria comes in and out of view, but there's no sign of the Lord to whom she spoke. Okay. Florn looks at the few riders that are that he has remaining, and he makes a quick decision and says, "Catch the rider, capture or kill him, and then sprint home. Do what you have to do to get the townsfolk out. Rolo, to me on the wagon. Xavier, make ranks on either side of us." And that's when Rolo jumps up in the wagon with his longbow knocked, closes his eyes, and he just listens to the trees. And they tell him that an invisible rider approaches. Rolo. Can you hear me, Rolo? Rolo, Sam. Yeah. Yes. This is, yeah. This is Rolo. 
Rolo. <laughs> Rolo, you can sense you can sense little bits and pieces of the man that you recognize to be Lord the, the Lord of Oglethorpe Island. You fought on the same side as this guy at the Battle of the Bands two years ago, and you saw him go invisible and fight ferociously with with spell and sword there. And you also sense his wizard, Vrya, who is famous in the Breen for long life. And she has been a rival of Nimrod Tolkien since the Border Wars decades earlier. Okay. Okay, then. <laughs> Seems like these fellas need a good feathering. <laughs> and what's the, uh, are we, the wagon is not covered, right? The wagon is not covered, and Florn has just sent all of the all of the riders on horseback um, uh, to chase after uh, Conlat. So that lake was it say Lake Spire Pass is that between us and Lake and Hearth? Yes. Do you remember where you fought the Necro Slavers? Yes. Uh, yes. Ish. Yeah. yeah. That that the the Necro Slavers were fought in Lake Spire Pass. So okay. So, so they is it our understanding from what they said that they have troops there already? Yes, and the thing that you heard them say is that the Lake Shireans mm-hmm. know right. they're coming. Yeah, not the Lake and Harthers. That's correct. Right. So they think we might be going to Lake Shire. But either Maybe. way, whether we're going to Lake Shire or Lake and Hearth, we gotta go through this pass. That's correct. That is right. Yep. All right. What's what's Sam's character's name? Rolo. Rolo. Rolo Tomasi. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, um, I, I, and I noticed that these people have uh, Adarin colors. Uh, they are wearing Oglethorpin. Oglethorpin colors. Uh, colors, which is which is basically Lake and Heart. I mean, uh, basically Adarin uh, with a with a splash of orange. And I and I know that, and you know that. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, Rolo, it appears we have a caster. Yes, Lord. We need we to stop. We have two. Lord, we- Lord, Lord Oglethorpe approaches uh, invisible. We need to stop this wagon, and we need to spread out. But first, fire with me, and I shoot a fireball at them. <laughs> <laughs> okay so what's the range on fireball 150 feet <laughs> i did i should have read that spell well, you should have read it <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> all right okay. eight, all right eight d6 wait. oh my goodness all right wait one second here let me bring up my uh this is going faster than i thought it was gonna go <laughs> okay <laughs> okay ionis doesn't know who to talk to about this one now so he's just yeah just right. blasting. He's, gonna, he's gonna do it he's gonna all do right. it all right so uh uh 8d6 i love that's hearing all be, those dice oof, yeah that's gonna be uh 25 uh dc 15 oh man that's a lot of damage <laughs> okay is it all right <laughs> it seems like a lot of damage okay um all right so tell me where it is so tell me where you are centering it uh, so I'm seeing, I, I saw the two riders kind of going in and out. Vria. Mm-hmm. Vria and, uh, and, and you said I saw one that went invisible. You didn't see one go invisible. You only see one rider right now. And that one rider is Vria. Okay. Yeah, we saw uh, the other one run off. The other one ran off which direction? It rode uh, towards the pass, and that's why Florence so sent it, the yeah, other guys went, after him. So, the, right. so the direction, fast. so I'm going to, I'm going to send the fireball I'm going to send the fireball maybe uh, ten feet, uh, ten feet away from Vria, in between Vria and the direction the other people rode. Okay, I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll a die to determine if you get someone else in this. Okay. Um. All right. Let me let me make my uh. <laughs> let me make my. <laughs> Let me make my save and throw here. <laughs> All right. Um, actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to make a saving throw. Vria sees your fireball. Hmm. And Vria 
Oh, no, never mind. Counterspell has a 60 foot range. Don't say counterspell because that's only 60 feet. Don't you say counterspell. Oh, you you were prepared. Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. This is uh, this is going to be Vria's uh, saving throw. It's a dex, right? What's your spell save, DC? F- uh, 15. Okay. <sighs> Vria gets 15. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, 12. Right. Half, half damage. Okay. What about her uh, her steed? Does her I steed will, roll separately? It, her steed does not roll separately. Her steed is a phantom steed. Right. Uh, so it automatically takes uh, damage here, um, but it has a minute to... Uh, to fade out. Uh, to fade out. Yeah, so she's still on horseback. And does Rolo fire with me? Um, does Rolo fire with you? I don't know. No. Rolo did not say he fired. I mean, I, I would assume we're in initiative now. We're right. going to be an initiative now. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I may fire very shortly after you. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's get this thing going. All hey, right. Let me... Let's do it. All right. Okay. I got a 20. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All okay. right. Rolling for four. Uh, okay. 16. Oh, my goodness. All right. Rolo also got a 16. You guys are and killing it. I think he, he has a 20 dex, so. All right. I'm going to roll these guys here. All right. Um, it's, we got um, Lord Oglethorpe got a 19. His war horse got an 18. Um, uh, the uh, Vrya got a 15. And your, 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 uh, Tempest novitiate, your your cleric got a fifteen, and the tribal warrior got an eight. All right, John, you won initiative, and you uh, have already gotten one chance to blast. Uh, you're up. What are you going to do? Okay, um, I am going to yell for everyone to stop the wagon. Stop the wagon! Stop the wagon! Spread out seventy feet, and uh, I'm going to jump off, and, and I'm going to dash sixty feet. Uh, into the trees. Do as he uh, says, man. Spread away, out. Away from the uh, caster or toward away, the caster? Away from the caster. <laughs> okay. And uh, I'm going to say, uh, before, I, before I do that, I'm going to just look at Florn. Florn, whatever you do, blind her. And then I'm off. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, 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 okay. I, All right. I don't remember um, how to do that. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure just, it out. I'm just trusting in Florn right now. <laughs> All right, so I am going to roll a perception check for uh, your for your uh, your troops here, mm-hmm. um, and let's see here. All right, and give me a give me a perception check, Rolo, and a perception check, Florin. Perception. That's uh, natural one. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, two. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. So that's not gonna that's not gonna cut it then. Um, all right. So uh, here's what you see. You or here's what you hear. You kind of hear horse, uh, uh, like a the, the the sound of a war horse somewhere uh, to the to the. Uh, to the west of you, so the direction that the that your that your carriage was was running, uh, you hear a horse somewhere, maybe sixty feet out that way, and you also see up in the sky, um, you see two large eagles, like like really really large eagles, <laughs> like bigger um, than Herbie. Like way, way bigger than Hairbeak. Like, oh like giant. You see giant eagles take off from that direction and they're flying uh, toward you guys. Um, okay. Uh, Rolo, it's you. All right. I am going to also jump off the wagon and run into the trees sort of perpendicular. Um, okay. You know, not directly away from the oncoming people. Not um, 
you know, not following Jonas, but sort of perpendicular into the trees and finding some cover. Okay. Um, and so you've got, I, I've, Rolo's got this at will forest sense. Yeah. Um, and it says, you know, he can use it and he gets, he can do one of the three things, blind sight, anticipate future and go invisible, which all have various things around them. The anticipate future says it takes a bonus action. Blind sight, it does not. Yeah. Does he, does he, is that a bonus action as well? So it's a, it's, it's a bonus action as well. Um, and he can use an action and that on the same turn. Okay, so I'm going to use blind sight and see if I can see the invisible Oglethorpe. Okay, yeah. So if you want to shoot at him, uh, mm-hmm. you will be able to shoot at him. He is right at 70 feet, like dead ahead mm-hmm. of where the uh, of where your carriage was going. Okay. So so he is. Um, uh, so from where you are, from where you ran, maybe a uh, hundred and hundred and ten feet. Okay, um, I'm gonna put an arrow in him. All right, thirteen. A thirteen is a miss. I'm gonna try again. And you he hear gets, him say, "Oh Jesus!" He gets two shots. <laughs> of the orc wars. <laughs> nineteen. The nineteen is gonna hit. <laughs> That's All right. 13 piercing damage. Oh yes. my god. Oh my god. Okay, yes. so I guess that means I also have to roll a, <laughs> a concentration. concentration check. Okay. Okay, nothing happens to the eagles. <laughs> he, he, he makes <laughs> oh, his, interesting. Yeah, interesting. He makes his concentration check. Does anything and happen so to his visibility? I was going to say so someone else must have cast invisibility on him. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, if somebody else hook. cast invisibility on him, should that person have made a concentration tick when she got hit? By a fireball? Perhaps. <laughs> and, and that's, uh, so here's another question. <laughs> um, if he's invisible but now has an arrow sticking out of him, does that affect the uh, the disadvantage for anyone else attacking him? Can I say attack um, him? You attack know, where the arrow is, boys. Yeah, so so they'll still have disadvantage to hit him, although mm-hmm. now everyone will know where he is. Okay. Is that fair? Fair to, sounds fair to me. Okay. Including Fireball Boy over there. <laughs> <laughs> over there. <laughs> I tagged him for you, King Jonas. <laughs> all right. Well done, well uh, done. Um, all right, we got Florin up next. Uh, okay. Rolo don't miss, except when he does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Florin would have seen where Rolo shot and now sees the arrow. I said, I yep. Can't believe that bastard showed up here. It runs uh, <laughs> 20 feet over. <laughs> I'll show him. And uh, I'm going to cast Boot Bubble Slick. Uh, <laughs> So is Florence wait a second. Uh, can we I mean I don't know if this is gonna ruin surprises for later. Can can Tim just read Florence's spell list? I'm dying to know sure. what names he sure. has come up with. Well sure. of course of course sure. there's the always good Blazer Glory. Blazer Glory, yeah, of course. Uh, and Amazing. then um Fix It Karen. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is mending. <laughs> Uh, and then there's something called a little wish, which is also it's the that's the third cantrip he has. So that's um, what do you call it? Minor illusion. Okay. okay. Now bear in mind, I don't know all the wizard spells. This is the first time I'm playing a wizard. <laughs> so uh, finger fire uh, is cone of flame. I think is what's burning, burning, burning hands. hands. Burning hands. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Be somebody else. We know what he. We know. <laughs> we know what it does because he did it with Jonas before. <laughs> Uh, hair beak, we know what it does, and shield did not change. Uh, boot bubble slick is the other level one. Boot bubble, bubble. I don't even is know that what gr- that is. Is that grease? Uh, yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and then he has a couple level twos, uh, one of which is called swap meat, M E A T. Yeah, and then uh, a lake and hearth surprise. <laughs> 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 now, sadly, and Tom, I don't know if this is an omission. I don't see any form of darkness. Um, so, or if that was just, just a, that was, a mistake, that was a 
well, that, that was, was a wild that, magic. That was a wild counter. That was mistake. oh right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Jonas did that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. got it. Yeah. I did. I did yeah. that to but, myself. But he does. He did still think it was Florin. I which, thought Florin so, did it. So, so it makes sense that he was like yeah, blind them, Florin. I'm, I'm keeping yeah. it in character. Yeah, yeah that's I'm right. I'm keeping it in character. Blind that was awesome. awesome. I'm counting on you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so anyway, so back to Florin's action. Um, so I'm going to cast Boot Bubble Slick at oh, centered. So wait, so before you do that, let me tell you, you have Hair Beak out. Yes. Her, Hair Beak is up, and and just like your Spectre was in the last in the last uh, uh, episode, uh-huh. um, you can choose to have Hair Beak act uh, just before Florin or just after Florin. Okay, now I don't have a card for Hair Beak, so I don't know if he has any abilities or if he just sees. Like, can he, he just he just sees really well? He has he has a uh, um, advantage on perception dealing with that has to do with sight. Got it. Okay, and does but he have he, a he cannot help action? He does not attack. Okay. Yeah, he can do the help action. One hit um, point. So I'll do. Uh, for now, I'll do Hair Beak after this turn since I've already started. I think that's fine. Um. So yes, yeah, so a boot bubble slick, uh, which is grease. Slick grease covers the ground in a ten foot square, center on a point within range. Turns into difficult terrain. So the grease is going to go right under Lord Oglethorpe, um, and uh, he has to do a deck save or fall prone. <sighs> okay. All right. What's the uh, spell save DC? Uh, his spell save DC is thirteen. Okay, so you'll be happy. Uh, you'll be sad to know first that uh, Lord Oglethorpe has an incredible dexterity, but you'll be happy to know that um, his, his, war horse, his horse Callahan <laughs> does not. <laughs> uh, so, all right, let's see here. Uh, and the war horse sort of sees the boot bubble slick. And just sort of maneuvers himself a little bit of the side, and you can tell that the arrow does not go to the ground. He is there, both still standing. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. But now there's a nice patch of where they are. There's a, that, yeah, there's a nice patch right there where they are. Um, all right. That's his action, and he had to move in a little bit to do it. Um, so I think Florin would say, Oglethorpe's there in the black. Take him out and keep eyes on Vrya. All turn. right, all right. So, um, so from the sky, you see this. These the wingspan on these eagles is at least eleven foot wide. Oh, I forgot to these do things. Beak, but... These things are giant. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Did you? Uh, I was just going to have Hairbeak sort of uh, tell him to have him stay sort of low, close to the treetops. In case the eagles okay. come in um, and keep eyes on Vrya. Okay. All right, great. So he will do that. Um, so this 11-foot wingspan eagle comes and swoops down at one of the uh, one of the 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 warriors on the ground and uh, and attempts to pick him up. And <laughs> let's see. All right. So he's gonna he's gonna do an attack here. And he gets a 15. This is going to hit. And he's going to do his damage first. He does six damage to the first guy. And he does a second attack with his talons. This is gonna, He's going to try to grapple him with this one. He hits him. The 14. Oh, man. Instead of grappling him, he goes to, he tries to, like, grab the guy by the shoulders, and his, and his uh, talons just go all the way in him, and the, the and this poor soldier, um, uh, his, his name was Clive. Uh, it, um, oh, Clive! What it was. <laughs> Uh, he just gets impaled by these talents, and the eagle can tell that, that that this has happened, and he lets him go, and Clive slumps over, and the other eagle swoops down at the next guy and attacks. And attacks. And he hits him with a 20. Uh, he does four damage, and he attacks the next one. With his talons to pick him up. Oh my goodness, he hits him with an 18. Shit. And he does 14 damage and another one is dead. And that and both those eagles fly back up to the sky. Um, and Vrya 
is super, super pissed. Uh, and she rides her horse directly toward um, the, 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 the war wagon. You see that this thing is fading, but she's still riding it. And uh, it's kind of weird because uh, the, the thing is, is like she's sort of shifting down where the saddle should be and then getting back up. And it's like you can it looks like she might be about to fall off this thing, but she's still on it. Uh, and she moves in, uh, moves around to the south. Jonas, where where exactly did you go? So she was north. So she was north and the wagon is facing west. So you moved south. Yeah. And you and you said that you dashed, right? So you moved yeah. 60 feet. Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, this horse sort of moves around uh, to the east of the wagon, um, gets almost to the, to the very edge of the wagon. And here's what I want you to do. Without, I don't want to give away anything here. I would like for you, you need to, to, th- to give me three things. I want you to give me an intelligence saving throw, a wisdom saving throw, and a dex saving throw. Okay, and how far away is she right now? Uh, she is. She's made it to about a uh, hundred and ten feet away from you now. Okay. Uh, intelligence, wisdom, and dex saving throw. Yes, and an intelligence check after that. I want you to do all three of all four of those. Okay. Jesus. I'm trying to cover my bases because I don't want you metagaming this. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, all right. Intelligence saving throw is an 18. Okay. Uh, wisdom saving throw? Yes. It's a 15. Okay. All right. Uh, and then an, a dexterity saving throw? Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. 14. Wow. Okay, and an intelligence check. And then an intelligence check. 11. Okay. Uh, excellent. And, um, and you see her, I was like, if this was just a fireball, I was going to be, <laughs> <laughs> no, she's, she's definitely, she's definitely cast something and you do not recognize what it is. She's cast. And, um, uh, and then she turns to move with her horse and her horse takes the dash action and it runs another hundred feet, uh, to the East after that. So she is now, um, she is now, a about 160, 70 feet away from you. And she's running towards Lord Oglethorpe? She's running away, so completely opposite of Lord Oglethorpe. So now the wagon has Lord Oglethorpe in a grease puddle with an arrow in him um, about uh, 60 feet to the west, and she is about 120 feet to the east Got of it. the my, wagon. My picture of where the wagon was headed was... Uh... Backwards. I was thinking okay. that we were headed. So, yes, I got it now. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. So, she headed. Uh, so, she's about 170 feet from me. Yes. That's right. Okay. And Florin, uh, you, because you're the leader of this, of this outfit. Yeah. Um, you can, on their turns, you can control and tell the warriors and the uh, clerics, just in, in general, give them orders. Right. Um, well, they've spread and out, correct? They spread out. Yeah. Okay. So there's, uh, are there any, if there's any ranged, I would have the ranged on each side, sort of follow the targets to on each direction. Um, they, they all have a spear, but they only have one spear. Got it. Okay. So there's only one archer. That's, that's right. One archer. Okay. Uh, so you could only, have them. You could, if you only could have Despo them. would teach them the good shower spear I know. shower. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> In I mean, time you could, of need. You could have them all throw their spear. I mean, look, there is, there's like 20 of them. Right. Right. Um, they're, they're so far away that they would all have a disadvantage, but, um, you know, like some of them are going to hit and, but then they will ha- not have a weapon. They don't have anything else. Nope. They each have a spear. <laughs> These are not regulars. Right, right, right. Um, and what do I know of Oglethorpe as far as his abilities aside from being invisible and... He is, he is uh, legendary as, a, uh, as an excellent warrior. He, is, he, he casts spells. I mean, he's a spell sword, you know. He casts spells. He 
mixes it up. And Callahan is all, he's always writing Callahan. Got it. Got it. <sighs> is the, and, is the horse invisible too? Yes. Wouldn't be much of a trick if it wasn't. Right. Yes. <laughs> um, saddled horse. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So who's, whose turn is it now? It's the, uh, it's the Tempest Novitiate. So we've got, he is, he is, uh, on the war wagon. He is one of the few people who did not jump off. So you've got, you've got Despo Good Shower, uh, a cleric and, uh, and one, one warrior who's still guiding the, the, or who's still on the, on the war wagon. Yeah. A master war technician. I am not, or a tactician, excuse me. Um, I think I would have them sort of form ranks to just keep a wall to each side so okay basically you know if they're running opposite directions we would have like kind of a, a like a delta or a v so that they're the, on bo- on both sides yeah on both sides of the wagon with one okay. like each line facing one of them so they could keep an eye um and stand ready if uh if there's an approach but spread out still to avoid the uh aoe Awesome. Okay. And so the, the, the novitiate, uh, um, uh, jumps off the, uh, the, the wagon and starts barking your orders for you and saying, saying, uh, you know, form the arrow boys. And, and he, he, uh, readies an attack with his spear, uh, as soon as, uh, as soon as he can see the, the invisible, um, uh, Oglethorpe and he casts Sanctuary on on Florn Gershon. So you are now protected with a Sanctuary spell. Awesome. Which will break if you attack or cast a spell that's harmful to another uh, creature. Um, but uh, for now, you cannot be targeted and without someone passing a, a DC 13 um, wisdom saving throw. Okay. Okay. And the tribal warriors, they form the two V's. So you've got, you've got, uh, 10 guys up front and 10 guys out, uh, uh, behind the wagon. And, uh, they have their spears up at the ready. Protect the king. Okay. Uh, oh, we, we thought you wanted us to protect the wagon. King or wagon. How far did Jonas move off the wagon? (laughs) Whoops. 60 60 feet. 60 60 feet. feet. Yeah. Uh, New South. Yeah. Uh, Five of you on the king. Uh, 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 okay, and then like, there's a couple of people who sort of start moving and don't moving, and then the 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 cleric says, "You, you five, you five from the hunters guild, go." And then they they sort of run toward Jonas, and they get about halfway there. Okay, okay Jonas, it's you. Okay, um, any, has anything happened to me? Are you going to look around? Do I feel weird? Well, uh, just like, do I feel weird? <laughs> I feel fun. After all, those, after all those saves, he's just wondering if well, there's any ill effects. Look, what was your intelligence uh, check? Remind uh, me of that. 11. Okay. Um, give me a perception check now. All right. Hang on. It's, <laughs> it's a four. Okay. It's going to get weird, man. So... You look around, you don't see anything, and then uh, you, right in front of your face, uh, you see Schnobik. And, <clears throat> and Schnobik uh, um, has, a, uh, has your father's long sword in his hand, um, and his fangs are out but he's holding the long sword with both hands and it looks like uh looks like he might strike at you. What 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 are you doing? Um and then rewind a bit when she ran away from me before Snowbick uh uh showed up. Did I see anything that she was holding uh in her hands? <laughs> like what? What are you what are you looking for? Uh spell book, spell cast focus. Yes, something. She, had, she she she's holding her spell book in uh-huh. one hand, and she's holding a wand of certain of a, of like a a U wand um, in the other hand. Uh, uh, okay, a U wand. White white. Yeah, it's it's a wooden oh, it's a wooden oh, oh. wand. Yeah, it's uh-huh. like gnarled and um, 
very very dry. Use on first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. So Shinobik is in front of me. He's got the sword. Yep. Um, and then she took off. Uh, Shinobik, what, what are you what are you doing? What are you doing? What I should have done a long time ago. All uh, right, brother. And uh, did you know that our, our forces are amassing and making their way to Monterre even as we speak? There will be nothing left of your precious city by the time we get there. It's, this is your city, too. This is not... <laughs> Down with the Silhavines. Down with the brother betrayer. All right. Um, if he advances on me, uh, then I... I am clearly going to Misty step away. Okay. So you're going to Misty step away right now? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Cast it. Where'd he go? Um, I, uh, in, in thinking that, that it's odd that he's shown up, but in my confusion, I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to Misty step 30 feet toward, um, toward Vria, but okay. still in the, still in the trees, but just in her direction so that I'm, I'm now 140 feet away from her. Okay. Any action? That's your bonus action. Um, Snow, Snowbick is, is how far away from the guards? Uh, are you going to turn around to look? Uh, yeah. So he's right next to you. He's, he, I, I come out, after Misty stepped in, he's right next to me. And he's right next to you, and he has a sword up in the air. All right. The God found it! And uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess in my confusion, because I, I, like, I know what's going on, but shit. <laughs> um, all right. In my confusion, I, I just I just firebolt him. Okay. And that's a natural 20. <laughs> okay. All right. It, it hits him, and it blows... Hit, well, roll your damage. Roll your damage on it. Uh, and, right. you, and it's a crit, so it's going to be crazy. Uh, Jesus. Okay. Um, shit. Uh, 21. So it blows through your brother. And you, it makes a hole in his stomach. And, and, and he just says, Brother... Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. No, 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 I, 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 I didn't. I didn't mean to. And and, and no. as he comes and he comes down to the ground and and um, he just explodes in a in a in a ball of acid. And uh, you take twenty four acid Ooh, damage. Jesus Christ. Ooh. <clears throat> Ouch. All right. Well, I had my eight temporary hit points. So. And. And I need you to roll a wisdom saving throw. All right, all right, all right. Um, okay. That's a 21. <laughs> okay. And you are overcome with the feeling that your mind has just been totally fucked. And, and you had just been targeted by the spell Phantasmal Killer. And, and you have never been more pissed at a uh at, a, at another human being before in your entire life and vria uh you can see she can tell that you have shaken it and uh and she is scared okay 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 and lord oglethorpe he he is still invisible <laughs> is it his uh, turn yep it's lord oglethorpe's turn uh he he's uh he got a 19 on his uh on his, on his thing yeah um and uh so low so lord oglethorpe um uh, uh he stops being invisible and and he raises his hands up and 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 you can see that that he's 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 making an incantation and for a hundred foot radius spreading out from the wagon, uh, just growth of plants just keep 
they just start appearing and 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 they're not entangling you but they're just making it like a nasty slow battlefield um this a 100 the, foot radius 100 foot radius this is the spell plant growth oh my god um and so every move every foot that you're going to move if you're in the 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 plant growth area um it takes 4 feet of movement this is not um uh this is not uh, difficult terrain. This is just one foot equals four feet of movement. Oof! And he has to. He's he's gonna he's gonna turn around on his horse and try to run away. <laughs> um, um, but he's gonna have to make his saving throw first. His horse is gonna have to make his saving throw again. Oh, uh, on the grease. Uh, yeah, Florin. What's your what's your? It's thirteen DC spell save. Okay. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> so, the horse loses its footing and and uh Bucks uh Callahan Bucks and 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 Lord Oglethorpe falls to the ground. Yes. Prone. All right. Rolo. Rolo, you are in the plant growth. Yeah. So if I wanted to run back to the wagon I couldn't. I couldn't make it. Like I, I even if I took a dash action, I'd only make it halfway back. That's correct. Okay. And Florin is still in the wagon. No, I moved. I moved uh, to get closer to. I'm like twenty feet off the wagon, toward yeah. Oglethorpe. Yeah. Um. Like this is this is uh these are really heavy growth. Now here's here's something like if you you could <laughs> lay down in this and be completely obscured. Um uh so I have the cantrip message. Okay. I'm going to message Despo Good Shower. Okay. <laughs> Despo Good Shower of Sergeant of Hawk, I know you. Uh, who's that? This how, you is my, Ro- how you my brain? This is Rolo the Ranger. You know Oglethorpe and Vrea of a day. Yeah, I, I, I do know those two scallies. You ever wanted a piece of them? Uh, I hate Oglethorpe with all of my might. Uh, I am going to try to throw my dagger into the wagon. <laughs> all right all like, right lob it yeah <laughs> I, i'll make this easy i'll make this uh use your use your attack your okay. normal ranged attack and and i'll make it a five so you have a you already have a plus five so it's just a one is gonna 17 not, not gonna do it okay all right um all right nice throw cut yourself free and grab a spear all right, she is going to. <laughs> that's a good move, man. Inspiration to Rolo. <laughs> Inspiration to Rolo. Nice. Well, also, I mean, he knows who she is. He doesn't have any investment in her being a prisoner, right. and he knows she fucking hates these guys. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, okay, so I just rolled her initiative. She has a one. <laughs> so end of the round. So, great. Yeah, but that's good because now she'll still be able to act this round. That's great. Okay, excellent. And then I'm going to lay flat on the ground. Okay. Now, how does it take your movement speed when you have to stand up? Is that just uh, half? It's just half, not doesn't. You would only have half available to you. I'm, right, right, so it doesn't make that any harder. That's right. Okay. Uh, is it Florin? It's, yes, it's Florin, yep. All right, so... Hmm... Where is Hairbeak? He's okay. So Hairbeak is uh, is over the 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 canopy. Um, what's so she has a she has a sixty foot flight okay uh, uh, movement. So she she could get to um, Oglethorpe. Um, okay, uh, that's that's within her her flight her flight. Well, she range. was sent to uh, follow Vria. Yep. Uh, so she could get to Vria too, or no? She, um, no, Vria, Vria went so far to the east. Got it. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, okay, so let's... Uh, Oglethorpe is prone, which means yes. we have disadvantage on hitting him as well. That's true. And he's in his own plant growth. Right. So does, he's, uh, does the does the plant growth confer cover? Um, so uh, I'm if, gonna, if you're laying prone, you if say, you're laying yeah. prone, yes, yeah. Hmm. I would send Herbeek to get closer to Vria. Because I imagine Vria is out of the plant growth, right? Because she was far enough away. That's right. She is. She's okay. out of it. So yeah. So I would send Herbeek to still spy on on Vria, uh, okay. and then uh, this is tough because I couldn't. Even, I, we can't even see Oglethorpe, right? You're right. You cannot see him. You know where he is, but he's heavily. So you know what? It's the same disadvantage, no matter what. In this mm -hmm. at this at this point. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's true. You can't. You can't have double disadvantage, which also means if you got the help action or something like that, you just fire at like right, normal, normal yeah. thing. So Yeah. No, I'll still kill, keep Hairbeak um, following Vrya. Um, okay. And then I will try a Blazer Glory. Blazer Glory! Against. <laughs> against against two. Against Oglethorpe? I can't reach anybody okay. else. Okay. I guess there's the Eagles, but... Um, all right, so at disadvantage, Blazer Glory... 14. Wow. Okay. On both of them. So amazing. So, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, I am not going to let Oglethorpe get the advantage of dexterity or his shield. You are going to hit him with this one. Yes. Uh, when he stands back up, he will be using his shield and getting his full dex. Okay. Uh, on this one. So, all right. Uh, so damage. Seven fire damage. Okay. That's he doesn't even notice it. Right. And he, and he's got a roll of concentration check. That's true. Oh, oh that's okay. The that's point. right. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. Oh, all right. Oglethorpe. This is for all the this is for all the marbles, Oglethorpe. You missed this one. I think it's over. Eleven. Oof. Ooh. 11. Okay, Damn his it. eagles are still around. All right. Um, and I'm going to... Uh, my move speed, I think, is 30. Um, Man, it's been a long fucking day, and I fucking hate the eagles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm going to make my way uh, a quarter, quarter of 30, which is what, like seven feet? Eight, yes. yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Rounded down, right? Because it's Dungeons yeah. and Dragons. Uh seven feet toward the wagon okay all right uh it's just really it's like it's just so everywhere the plant growth is just so overwhelming and it's crazy because it doesn't require concentration what a great spell <laughs> <laughs> what a great spell a hundred feet y'all a hundred that's, that's insane it's insane yeah radius yeah yeah that's just insane yeah okay um and the eagles are swooping down on and they're picking off the uh the guys um that are down the 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 there's eight guys left uh on Oglethorpe's side here so he's attacking the first one uh with his beak attack um a 12 is going to hit these guys are pretty weak uh six damage that hurts and he sinks his talons into this warrior and he does not sink his talons in the warrior and uh and the next and now he's engaged with this Stay strong clint yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, clive is already dead though so um and the next eagle goes and attacks the guy who's next to him 15 is gonna hit nine damage is rough and uh, and he misses this one with a ditch, natural you're still alive. One. Good, good ditch. Yes, two guys. He's are called still Ditch alive. because he was born in a ditch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Ditch is still alive. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, uh, Vria uh, wheels around. She's about ten feet out of the uh, out of the the plant growth here, um, and 
she looks Ionis right in his ocular nerves and uh and and she oh oh this is a tough one guys um and and you see her start to waggle her fingers like she is going to cast a magic missile at you you recognize it all right and uh, she and casts sh- she casts magic missile and i cast shield and nothing happens well, and you'll be happy to know she was casting that as a level three spell. Because <laughs> that would have hurt. It would have hurt really bad. I, I rolled a four for the damage of the magic missiles. And and because we're doing this to soup up evokers later on, um, uh, this would have been uh, four times five missiles, 20 five damage. missiles. You'd have taken yeah. 20 damage right there. Yeah. She looks pissed off at you. <laughs> Um, <laughs> ping 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 that ping. thing and so and so she turns her horse around and the horse starts to fade and she has to step off of the horse and she runs the remaining of her 30 more feet uh which direction uh, away from you <laughs> 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 so she's right. now a hundred and uh 150 feet away from you now okay all right um and the uh the the tempest cleric uh does another sanctuary and casts sanctuary this time on ditch <laughs> so ditch is now <laughs> ditch is now protected um and all of these uh, that ding dong <laughs> i know all of these uh um these warriors are going to attack the 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 eagle that's right there on them so we've got eight guys left all of them are rolling their attack uh the eagles are both within range um let's see what happens guys all right i think hmm, i wonder if i don't know if lauren would know about the eagles in concentration (sighs) oh okay we got one two three four four hits and this means we're going to be doing uh it's a lot 4d8 plus what 4d8 plus 12 Mm. all right here we go okay it's gonna be crazy okay um they all poke at this eagle that's right on ditch and they they hit and they hit and they hit and and the eagle just like disappears from the thing. So you got, nice. you got one one eagle down, uh, one to go. Oglethorpe's not having any of it. Oglethorpe's pretty <laughs> pissed off. Um, okay, uh, and Despo Good Shower. She stands up. There's a there's a spare uh, 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 spear in the um in the wagon with her and she gets up and she leaps as far as she can to uh toward oglethorpe uh so she gets about a uh, a 10 foot leap there and she uses her dash action to make it another um, 15 feet, let's see or no despo good shower you beautiful bitch <laughs> yes. good dog that stuffed shit for <laughs> yeah, me yeah. <laughs> and, and and so she makes it uh she makes it up uh about she's got still got about 30 feet to go to get to oglethorpe okay and back to the top jonas fuck man <sighs> i mean uh uh staying on brand um She's 150 feet away. She just made me think I killed my brother. She just tried to magic missile me. <laughs> I'm holding on to my pearl of power, and I oh. fireball that ass. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, let's see here. Uh, that's going to be 30. You got to be kidding me. Fucking 30 damage, and she okay. better fail that damn deck save. Okay, let me see. Let me see what she does. All right, here we go. And she gets a 10. Ah! <laughs> All right, DC 15, 30 damage to her. Wagwan. Um, you're going to be really happy to know. Describe what happens to her 
when you oh, light her what? ass on fire. Oh, yeah. Look, two fireballs. I mean, guys, this is like she's a she's a magic user. <laughs> All right, I I uh, I, I watch oh, shit. her. No, you don't. No, you don't. She still has a third level spell. Wait, wait. She's counter spell on she that. She can't. Shit. She can't. It's sixty feet, Tom. She's one hundred and fifty oh, feet away. She cannot God, do you're that. Right. She can oh, try it at terrible. the fireball as it lands on her. She could point yeah, at it. And go I no, mean, she... no. <laughs> R- Rhea is a legend. She's legendary. And guess what? So is Iona. But she only had like forty something hit Challenge. points. Challenge, yeah. Accepted. Accepted. <laughs> Go bitch. ahead, do it. All right. Yeah. So, so I, 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 I. Okay. She, she's looking at me. Blouses. She sends the restaurant. <laughs> 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 she sends the missiles at me and I just I just wave my hand and the missiles just all fade away. And then I just shoot one finger straight up in the air and it just soars straight down on top of her head and just completely vaporizes her. Uh, um, what does it do to her book? Her book she dropped before she uh, her, she dropped her book before she left because she got real scared. <laughs> okay. Okay, hey, hey, you know what? I, I dropped you. it on top of her head, so the explosion now, knocked the book now, away from her. Here's what I want you to do. Here's yeah. what I want you to do. Yeah. I want you to roll mm. a uh, a let's see here a DC. John, you can carve pockets, right? Seven. Oh, oh make a pocket I made a pocket book. around the book. <laughs> I made Son a pocket a around the book. He put the book in his pocket. Tim, you see what we did there? Tim is the shit right here. The fireball comes down. I made a pocket around the book. I vaporized her ass. Book falls on the ground. No problem. There's no way that happened, but I love it so much. You guys, you guys suck. No, here, here's what I'll do. I'll give you a um, give me a DC seven persuasion check persuade the dm to let this shit happen <laughs> you asshole hey rule of cool right uh, rule okay. of cool dc7 persuasion just 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 a persuasion check jesus christ okay a persuasion check to persuade the dm, the DM. that this is what happened i got yeah. a pocket around the book okay here we go for all the marbles <laughs> That's a natural oh, 20. That's a natural oh, 20. Shit. That's a natural 20. <laughs> okay. Give me okay. that book. Give me that book. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Not only, not only do you make a pocket, but actually you realize that she dropped her book before running away and her book is only nine feet away from you, from oh. where you stand. It accidentally <laughs> fell off the, the horse. I forgot to mention it. <laughs> That it's actually right there, so you'd have to use your movement, but you could mo- use your movement and make it almost to it uh, this this round. So how far how far can I get now? If well, you I have do thirty, 30 feet, feet left. I do thirty feet, but I and but I've so, got a quarter of my movement, right? So yeah, yeah, but so seven feet. Get, you seven can get feet. seven feet, so you so you still have two more feet to go to get to the book. But you could like you bend over and pick it up. I can. I'm gonna yeah. Away. I'm gonna just bend over and get it. I'm gonna just. But wait a second. I don't know if you should because then you might not be able to take an action for the next couple of rounds because you're too busy creaming your jeans. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna chance it, Sam. I'm gonna try to control myself. Okay. I'm gonna right. bend over with shaking hands. I'm gonna grab the spell book and I'm gonna clutch it tight. <laughs> okay. Give me a constitution saving throw. Oh god damn it. Oh, is it a Grigley book? <laughs> Better not be a damn Grigley book. Give me a constitution <laughs> saving throw. Oh, everybody's got uh, yeah. power in the brain. That's okay. a four. Yes, and you cream your pants. <laughs> you just can't hold you, it in you lose you lose five movement next round okay all right jesus because you craved your bands <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh oh okay no oh, don't do that bruce willis was okay, no, 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 six no, don't do that don't yeah. do that but yeah it's okay yeah. there's an explicit label on the do podcast. it do it like me <laughs> totally quietly so no one gets disturbed in bed Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Oglethorpe is really upset right now, guys. Um, uh, so he sees this whole thing happening. There's no and, way he saw the book, right? I mean, it's no, he didn't see the book. He didn't see Jonas Cream <laughs> himself or anything like that. He saw, he saw his the 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 his lieutenant of many many years, his father's lieutenant. 
his father before his lieutenant, who even though she's a human, she has lived hundreds of years. Um, she's famous in the Breen Valley for being like a an old but also very young looking woman. Like they just be, she's been around. It's it's sort of like uh, what's what's the what's the pirate in the Princess Bride? Dread, Dread Pirate, Pirate Roberts. Roberts. Dread Pirate. It's a little bit like a Dread Pirate Roberts, except everyone's just sort of sees her, and I mean, she's not wearing a mask, right? So, so he wow. is. He is. He's really, really upset right now, and um, he is going to do. I mean, he's about to do his big nuke. Oh man, you, nobody here has a uh, has any kind of uh, counter spell. No counter spell or anything, right? No, unless you unless it's some weird name that I'm <laughs> no. <I'm aware> of. <laughs> I, I, I have a Grigley's, he actually you named Grigley's it dagger wild counter melee. <laughs> um, so okay, so this is what happens. He moves seven feet. <laughs> God damn, this plant growth works both ways. <laughs> and he's still on the oil slick, isn't he? Or he had to stand up, so he doesn't even have seven yeah, feet. He's, yeah, he's done. Uh, or did he, he stand up, up last turn? I forget. He stands up. He jumps on Callahan. That's all his movement. Um, uh, Callahan has to make a saving throw for the grease. Damn it. I forgot about the grease. All right. It's Callahan, <laughs> well, Callahan had a, to stand up too. Callahan stands up and falls <laughs> the F back down. And... and uh, this is bad. This is sucky. <laughs> I've been planning this for weeks, assholes. Are you kidding? Uh, it's going great. It's going wonderful. I'm having a. I okay. mean, this, this is, is awesome. This is epic. M- so, my okay. plan has been working perfectly. Okay. So, 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 Tom, the only thing I'll tell you is that it, you don't make the save until the end of the turn on the oh, grease. Oh, perfect. Okay. So, okay. So that's that's actually great. Okay. Thank you, Tim. Thank you for Tim. your honesty, Tim. Tim with the rules. Um, but he probably doesn't have <laughs> an emo- enough movement to get out of the grease on this turn. I'm guessing. Well, he jumps on his horse, and his right. horse had can to stand up and do the dash action. Right, but the horse so had to stand up. That's so that's that's and quarter that's movement 30 speed. Feet. That's thirty feet, and then uh, and then he's got thirty plus sixty. He's got ninety feet left of movement. Right, and then cut that by three quarters. Uh, and so Sam math, <laughs> wait, three quarters of 90, 20 feet, 25, 20, 22, 20, 20, 20, 22 20, and a half. 22. Yeah. Yeah. 22 and a half. 22. All right. So he gets out of the grease and he, he moves, uh, he moves toward the wagon, 22 and a half feet. Okay. Uh, so he's now from Florin. He's now another, he's about 35 feet away from you. Okay. And the save and doesn't happen yet. Uh, no, he's out. He's out of the. He's out of the grease now. I knew there was a reason why grease sucked. I didn't <laughs> you have to, fin- you have to finish your turn. In it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. All right. And so he looks at this clump of of men, this eight men that have surrounded one of his eagles and killed it. And you know what he casts on him? What's he cast on him? Chatel. <sighs> Chatel. Chatel. <laughs> how how far away is how far away is he from me? From you, uh, now, well, now that you got the book, um, uh, <laughs> now that you're you seven are, feet to get <laughs> yeah, <the book>. yeah. <laughs> you're, you're about a hundred and something feet away, but, uh, okay. but maybe a hundred okay. and 115. Now his other eagle away. is still they in that group of men, right? So, yep. Okay. He don't, he don't care. No, <laughs> it's not a real eagle. <laughs> it's not a real eagle. <laughs> All right. And he is going to cast this baby up. He's casting this as a level three spell. This is the worst roll I've ever had. <laughs> Level three shatter, twenty one damage. Oh total. no way! <laughs> DC thirteen. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, these guys all have uh, like four HP. These guys That's have right. eleven. These guys have eleven. So, so the ones that were damaged are dead. Right. So ditch is gone. Um, and so Clint is gone. So, yep. So Clint is dead. Ding dong! Ditch is dead. Ding dong ditch <laughs> is dead. And then these other one, two, three, four, five, six guys all they gotta have save to make or die. Their... Yep. And even and if they right. save, they have one hit point. <laughs> yep. Uh and if they save, they have one hit point left. Wow. Here we go. Damn. All right. Oh my goodness. This is looking bad, fellas. 
Okay. All right. I've got one, two, three, four, five guys fail. Dead, 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 dead. Oof. And one guy Shit. makes it. Name, uh, uh, Sam, give me a name for the guy who survived. Lucky now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Lucky. I don't know what it was before. <laughs> okay. Lucky Jeez. is alive. And that is his turn. And it's Rolo's turn. All right. So with my forest sense, yep. uh, do I do I still have the blind sight? Uh, you still have blind sight, and you can do you so. Can, I can attack uh, him without. Uh, he's not invisible anymore. He's no. He's he's uh, he's visible now. Uh, okay. And he's on a horse, um, so he's not obscured at all. Yep. All right, then I'm going to use. Uh, now you have two other options for forest sense. That's true, um, but I am going to use my bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark on him. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to shoot his ass. It, what's this? What's this, what's a saving throw for that? Uh, there is no saving throw. What? That can't be right. It's like it, hex. You you yeah. choose a creature you can see within range and mystically mystically mark it as your quarry. Until the spell ends, you deal an extra one d six damage to the target whenever you hit it with a weapon attack. Listen, Tom, I don't know about you, but I know Sam played a lot of Hunter in World of That's Warcraft, true. and there was I a did. lot of red marks on some <laughs> That's mobs. True. Okay, all right. No, you know I never even played World World of Warcraft at, at all. That was uh that was when I got my first job. So, <laughs> was, so you made good use of your time. <laughs> yeah, right. so i'm using that first level spell and now i'm gonna shoot him with the long right. bow. his shield is up do you need to roll Eight. the extra damage for hunter's mark at the beginning and then it's that the whole time or do you roll it each time uh good I'll question leave it to you rollo I'll, I'll leave it to you rollo what I'm do you want to roll do? it each time okay. uh 18 18 hits 18 just hits. That's 10 piercing damage plus oh a D6. Another four. So 14 piercing. Hey, and did his what? eagle survive the shatter or did it just go away? Um, I didn't roll for him. It, it, he went away. He dismissed it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And wow. uh, I'm going to shoot him again. Okay. <laughs> That's an eight. An eight is going to miss. <laughs> Okay, my goodness. And then I'm going to lay flat in the plants again. Okay. All right. Florin Gersha. Ro- Rolo knows how to how to be discreet. This is right. taking a this is taking a very different turn than I thought it would, Florin. Um, um you have lost uh 8 of your men. Um but you've killed Vria the Great. Right. Vria the Old and you've got uh, your town's rival, the lord of your town's like rival town, um, is is within five feet of Despo Goodshower, and, <laughs> and and has just taken a massive hit from your your seer archer. Um, this is your moment. He just doesn't have that much I can do. Um. Where is Herbeek? Herbeek was over by Vria, was headed that direction, so it's probably at least a turn away, right? You could get... Uh, so she's got 60 movement. You could get Herbeek all the way to um, to Lord Oglethorpe this turn. Okay. <sighs> oh, the eagle is left. Sorry. The eagle still has uh, seven hit points. Sorry. Oh, okay. I thought you said he dismissed Sorry. it. So he has to do I a con he, check on that hit then. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Let me do that because we're gonna wreck on this. Why don't why don't we get rid of all of my? <laughs> let me get rid of all my cool stuff. It's fine. <laughs> it's cool. No, it's cool. We're fighting for our lives here, Tom. You yes, are. Seriously. You are. And the eagle disappears. I got a Fuck three yeah. on that concentration yes. check. Yes. It's over. Oh that, man, that was for ditch, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He was a good man. He was old, but he was good. <laughs> all uh, right florin uh so florin is how far away from him now it's like 30 feet uh probably 30 feet yeah, yeah. okay so um does florin have any missiles 
Florida does not have missiles. I read you Damn all the spells. It. He didn't have missiles. He's got he's got like <laughs> close range fire and long range fire, <laughs> and then some grease. Um, <laughs> but let's have Hairbeak head back over uh, and um, help Rolo. Okay. Um, and I'll I'll give Rolo the signal. Be like, Hairbeak's got your help, or we'll help you. Whatever. Um. Sorry, I do it in, in foreign voice. Rolo, next shot. Hairbeak's helping you. <laughs> awesome. Uh, that sounds so much like me being him. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to try to burn him now. Fucker. <laughs> and I'll cast a blazer glory. <laughs> and I'll miss. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, a, miss. Miss. that's a miss. Okay. All right. Uh... Giant Eagle doesn't exist anymore. Mm-hmm. Vrea doesn't exist anymore. Uh, <laughs> this this Tempest Novitiate is here. Um, uh, let's see. Um, we'll go one more Sanctuary on... Um, let's see. On, on Florin again. You have Sanctuary again. How long does that uh, last? Uh, it lasts a minute. Okay, so I should still have it because nobody's attacked me. No, because you you attacked. Oh, that's right. Okay, you attacked. Yep. Um, <laughs> You've just been dying to cast sanctuary on someone, I know. right? <laughs> yeah, I have been. Why didn't he cast Thanks, a cure man. wounds on Ditch? Yeah. Um, well, Ditch is dead. <laughs> Ditch is dead, baby. Ditch is dead. <laughs> what about Lucky? <laughs> <laughs> Lucky's alive. That's true. But with like know, one hit point or something. <laughs> Cure wounds is touch. It's a it's yeah. a it's a no, it's a battlefield with true. plant growth. He can't get there. Come on, yeah. come on. Oh yeah, and Florin would probably yell, "Lucky, back to the wagon! <laughs> <laughs> Throw your spear and pick up some other spears and come back to the wagon." <laughs> There's okay. probably like ten spears laying on the ground over there. All right. of the uh, all of the remaining uh, um, warriors hear Florin say, "Throw your spear," and uh, they think that you're talking to them. And so they oh, all wonderful. They all throw their spears in so some kind got, of spear shower, <laughs> some kind of spear shower, <laughs> so, so to speak. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And here's what this looks like. We've got so there's ten guys there, and then Lucky. Ten guys there, and Lucky. So we got eleven guys. Eleven guys. Let's see what they can do. The magic number for these guys to hit with their spear is, let's see, plus two. 16 is their magic number. Let me get all these Uh dice. I have so (laughs) many of these. That's a high number. That's a high number. Ready? And I got a couple more. Okay. Oh, look at this. I see one, two, two. One, I I see two hits on this one. Um, So all the spears go. And uh, and one of them is really errant and goes and like lands right next to to to, to Despo and Despo looks back and goes, "Come on, who taught you how to do in a proper spear shower?" <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna talk to Abel when I see him again. <laughs> and and these guys do. Can she pick up a spear in stride as she's right, running? Just dual do- wield it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, they get 15 da- 16 damage nice uh this guy is hurting okay and back to the top jonas okay oh wait no no i got despo i still got despo oh, de- despo <laughs> despo's turn mm. all right all right so despo uh closes with this guy and uh and she is just fucking full of bullets when she sees him <laughs> and, and, and says, uh, this is for your attack on the tower. And this is for what you did to my wife. Mm. And, and it's a miss. Oh, God uh, the first one's a miss. And the second one is, Ooh, a hit. Nice. Oh boy, is this a big one? It's a big one. And it's gonna be 
12 slashing damage. Whew. And then she takes the butt end of her spear and she wha- whacks at him in the face. And let's see if we can get it. Uh, seven's going to miss. Oh, shit. This guy's real messed up, though. All right, Jonas, it's you. Okay. Uh, so she's still tied up with my rope, right? Who? No. Despo? No. No. What happened to the rope? Rolo tossed her a knife and she. Where were you? He was busy she, with Rhea. Yeah, he was, was, he was thinking Rhea. about I was happening. way far away. I was yeah. getting chopped at by my brother. Yeah. Um, so, so Rolo sent her a knife. She cut herself free, grabbed a spear, and is now heading and fighting, uh, fighting against Lord Oglethorpe. So, what happened to my rope? It's on the wagon. I forgot that was the magic rope. Yeah, it's a ma- so she, he, she can't really like cut it free, right? Did she just maybe unknotted oh. it? Oh, she cut it. It's it's magic, but it's magic. It does something. It's not magic. It's uh, impervious to, <laughs> oh, to dagger cuts. <laughs> Don't worry about the rope. You just it... got a book. Let's go. <laughs> well, no, if we it's tie not, that, that, if we tie it's that just, rope I... back together, it, it'll probably still work. Yeah, you can not. Probably. I, mean, I, was, I, I thought maybe together. it was... A, I thought maybe it was around her wrist. So I was going to try to tie Oglethorpe up with it ah. or at least like mm. attach it to him so that he has disadvantage or something. Yeah. But how, how far, if it's still on the wagon, how far away is he from the wagon? From, from the rope? Yeah. He's about, he's about 40 feet away. And the ah, rope shit. can move 10 feet per Yeah, per it's turn. only 10 feet. Yeah, it's only 10 yeah. feet. So, uh, so, all right. Um, I mean, Rolo's within range of your blazer glory uh, if you're pissed about him giving her a knife. <laughs> 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 Though you would have disadvantage on the attack roll. I, I see. I just he's I laying see down the grass. Right. Yeah. Uh, no, I see what's happening. Um, I see Despo. This guy is like, what, 100 and, 110 feet away from me? Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Um, so uh, I'm going to I'm going to firebolt. I'm going to firebolt Oglethorpe. Okay. Natural 20. What? what? Oh, I feel like John's luck has changed. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, before you roll this, I want you uh-huh. to know. Uh-huh. It is within the rolls, the potential of the rolls with a crit to kill this guy right now. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's end this. Let's end it. This guy's a straight up Valor Bard. Okay. What would you get? That is a 22. Ugh. All right. Tell me what you do. Uh-huh. How do you kill this guy? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I see I see Despo uh, attacking the guy, and I, I hear her say, "This is for my wife," but you know she can't quite land it. And in an effort to score, hopefully score some points with Despo, um, I just I just shoot him. I just shoot him right in the eye. That's my thing. I just see him and I just, just right in his eye, burn it right out. <laughs> okay. It burns his eye and and he's falling to the ground and and as he falls, you you all hear him say, I just hope Faust doesn't take it out on my people. And he falls to the ground. At floor, and that's how you cast a blaze of glory. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think taught him how to do that? That was me. I taught him to Dawn, do that. Dawn, we are going to have to have a serious conversation about your spells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me that book. I'll show you some spells. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Hell no. <laughs> uh, so, so you have a scene where there are many men dead. Um, you have killed uh, Vrya the Great. You have killed Lord Oglethorpe. Uh, who is, I mean, I mean, this is a big dude in the, in the, in the Breen Valley, um, big ally of Adair. Uh, and, um, and you hold in your hand Vria's ancient spell book. Um, it is amazing. I know we have to get everybody back to Lakenhearth to give these men a proper burial. But I, I, I'm also afraid that Prince Adair is still going to beat us there. We we have to keep on moving, especially with this growth. It's going to take time. Everybody back to the wagon. Um, Drag a body if you can. Bring it to the wagon. As a ranger, do I have um, animal handling? It's not on the character sure sheet do. here. Yeah. Yep. I would like to um, 
to gather and potentially mount Callahan the Warhorse. Oh, so so uh, that's a great idea. Callahan the Warhorse uh, is a found steed, which is the borrowed paladin spell. So I forgot to mention uh, this when you mm-hmm. when you blew the when when Jonas blew the blazer glory through his right eyeball. Um, Callahan sort disappeared of disappeared under him. See, he didn't disappear exactly. He just sort of like galloped and then and then sort of faded away into the into the forest. Um, and 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 then had a poof of smoke. And so you 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 with your blind sense you you sense that he left to the Feywilds. Uh, I have a question. Yes. He dies and so doth the plant growth, yeah? Nope. Nope. Plant growth is is uh forever. Oh come on. Yeah, but it's right. only a hundred foot radius. So yeah. once you get out of it, yeah, you know, sure. it's, you're, you're talking about a couple of minutes to get out of it. Can I make an arcana check on the um, teleportation circle? Uh, sure. Yeah. In the wagon. Yep. That's a twenty. <sighs> okay. So you've seen these symbols before. You've seen all these symbols before, uh, and you were starting to recognize. Uh, in the various teleportation circles that you've seen uh, a few common elements and you recognize the symbol now for Montaire. Uh, you don't know where in Montaire this leads to. You recognize the symbol for uh, a cave bear. There's three different towers on there. Mm-hmm. And, um, and you think that like, you know, given enough time, you might be able to figure out, like how to actually use this circle to go to some of the places that you've been. Um, But you're not going to be able to do it right now. You don't have time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I was hoping maybe there was a a lake and hearth symbol as well, but uh, that's all right. This is still a game changer. There's, there's about 10 other symbols that you just haven't seen before. I got you. Uh, You know, like one of them looks kind of familiar from Jesus's uh, um, uh, from, from Jesus's room, but like, Mm -hmm. it's sort of like, it's a it's a writ. It's risky. It's it's okay. hard to know. Is there, there a way okay. to lock it from this side? Um Jonas doesn't know how to lock it from this side. Okay. And Jonas doesn't know if there's a way to lock it from this side. While he's examining that, Rolo is gonna go over to uh, Oglethorpe and and see if he's carrying any um items of value or of uh, mystic origin. Well, Rolo certainly knows about Yisbin, which is his great scimitar. And, um, and it is, it's been in the region for a very long time. Um, uh, it's very well balanced. It's magical. Um, and, uh, he has been, um, it's specifically used for, for mounted combat. It has certain advantages for mounted combat, which you didn't get to see this time because of the plant growth, which is a bad decision on my part. So, uh, (laughs) (laughs) so I'm going to turn to, uh, to Despo good shower. Say, uh, it was a, it was a good strike Despo. Oh, well, thank you. I, I just can't believe he's already, he's gone. That was very, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, anticlimactic. Uh, Ad- Adair still threatens our homes. Well, it, they're, they're, they're a threat to everybody, as far as I'm concerned. Does that, does that mean you'll fight with us? So she looks around, uh, and, uh, and she, she looks back at Jonas and says, I don't, I don't pledge any fealty to a to a, a grape on a toothpick that's for that's for damn sure uh, no no what i ask you to despo uh i'll do what's right i'll do what's right uh, uh, and then i i flip the scimitar around with a flourish and i hand it to her all right she holds it in her hand and says well, that's the finest weapon i've ever held in my hand how about you, my, uh... My God. How about you take a few heads with it and we call it even? 
Well, that sounds all right. And 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 how, and I won't call you deserter no more. <laughs> <laughs> to the wagons, everybody! We must go. We have. To- Sorry, that was a fill in your voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. Speaking of fill near, speaking of fill near, um, you and Abel find yourselves uh, sharing a draft horse, which is not super strong, and you find yourself heading west and. You you were looking for Hair Beak, which was the promise that that um, that Florin had made that he would fly Hair Beak super high. Right. You don't see it flying high up in the air right now, but you have a general sense of which way to go, and uh, you have decided to go the fastest route possible, which is which is right through Lake Spire Pass, and. Uh, and so you were making your way there. You were a few hours away. Um, tell me how you're riding. Well, I'm I'm a real hurt, <laughs> so I'm probably on back. <laughs> okay, so you're getting a short rest. Abel's getting a short rest. Okay. Ooh, all right. Um, while Filnir is is uh, driving is, the horse, is riding. Yeah. yeah, and 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 Filnir, this is this is. I mean, Abel's sort of in and out, I guess, as he's sort of resting. Um, you, you, you hear uh, coming from your side, sort of gets gets warm again um, after that image of Pariso being like consumed by weeds and and the under. He says, uh, "Feel near." I very much appreciate what you have done for me. Uh, I will reward you with my highest honor as soon as I may. And what does that mean? As soon as you may. I can only give to you what I can give to you, but I will give it all to you. Faust is waiting for you now. You You are approaching him. We are going directly at him. He has taken off the leather strap. He has let it dangle. He knows you are coming. Uh, he will. He will not face anyone but you. It will be like Shandara. Oh, it's with the single combat. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you, if you, if you kill him, I will give you my great power. You must just. Put my shaft. And what it, what is to become of you when all of these pieces are returned and assembled? I am old, Vilnir. I can see it's that. Ti- it's time for me to regrow. It's time for me to begin again. I will happily be a new Perazzo. In what way? I'm sorry, I... You will leave... Me, you will leave the weapon. You will be born into some sort of plant as you were sucked into the ground momentarily. It is not that simple. Uh, think of think of the world as a as a pot with dirt inside of it, and think of me as a seed, and you can plant me at the end of it all. And then, and then your part is done. Yes, but Periso, you have done what I once considered kind things, and you have done awful things, and depending on what sort of plant you might grow into, as you say, I'm not sure you're a plant that many would want growing in their gardens. The metaphor is sneaking past me now uh, <laughs> <laughs> what will you do when you Vilnia, you have one job to me i i know i say things to you as though i am asking Vilnia, i am not asking you will kill the paladin named herr walter faust today you will put my shaft inside my tip. You will wrap the leather around my shaft. You will jam me 
into the ground where Walter Faust was killed. You will then walk away or I will kill you. I will kill your dark skinned friend and I will rip apart the priest you call Abel. This is not a negotiation. Or Faust kills you. I suppose that is. And Faust does my bidding. He is a puppet. Puppeted by Prince Adair and then me. I am done. <sighs> and he's not warm anymore. Phil near ever the diplomats trying to think of a diplomatic way to make sense of this all. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, he's gone. Yeah. All right. So while you're chewing on that, <laughs> can I roll my hit dice now? <laughs> roll your hit dice. <laughs> and, and as, uh, as Abel's rolling his hit dice, um, John, do you want to open the book? Oh, I'm sorry. I just, I rolled two. I have rolled three D eight. I rolled a four, a one and a one. Well, you also, you uh -oh. get your, Oh no. Oof. You don't have a con That's bonus. Rough. And I don't have a con bonus. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, Cause the toughness feat doesn't give you the con bonus for the, no. for the um, thing. Oh I man, that sucks. Filnir has a healing potion that, well, he has three potions <laughs> of healing. So yeah. Um, and Abel also has a prayer of healing, which I assume I can cast right now. Get Wokus to do something. Right? <laughs> well, Wokus isn't with him. Isn't he They've walking? No, we're ahead of him. Yeah. All right. 12 from the prayer of healing. Cliff and Wokus are walking back. Okay. Is prayer of healing group or is that? Yeah. So you get that 12 too. Great. Oh, nice. And the horse. I'll heal the horse if the horse was missing. <laughs> the horse has more to heal. Yeah, that's good. Actually, that's good. The horse was really messed up. I mean, it had one, and, and it got a prayer of healing earlier, so. Okay. I actually... I'm wondering if I shouldn't cast one more prayer of healing. I that would be use... my last second level spell slot. I can still use but, a little uh, bit of a top off if we're... Okay, I'll do it again. All right. That is doing that. another seven. Now, do those prayers reach all the way to Jonas? <laughs> they do not. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Absolutely not. <laughs> and so, sorry, can it's okay. Uh, can I have one of those healing potions too? <laughs> yeah. Was it 2d2d4 2D plus 4? Yeah, uh, plus 2. 2d4 two. Two plus 2. All right, so that's another 5. All right. Okay. So I, still I mean two not of those. not great, but I I can at least probably take one hit now. Maybe <laughs> even a fireball if I make my deck save. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Tom, I'm opening the spell book. Okay. So you start to flip through. There's a lot of things you already know um, in here. Uh, mage armor, sleep, magic missile. Um, disguise self is here. I don't know if you know that spell. Ooh, I don't know that spell. Color spray is in there. Invisibility. Mirror image. Phantasmal yeah. force. Oof. Counter spell. Major image. Phantom steed. Sleet storm. Thunderstep, Liamon's Tiny Hut, and Phantasmal Killer are all in here. Now, that's not all that's in this book. Um, you see that uh, you, don't, you don't speak or read Underdark, right? Uh, no, I don't. So there is a, there's a whole like, like series of folded letters that are written in Underdark that you recognize that it is Underdark. Um, and then you see uh, some letters to and from 
uh, um, just so, someone who just you know signs their name R E, uh, which you don't take time to read right now, but you just see that there are two to and from someone named R E. Okay. Okay. Um, and and gentlemen, as the wagon train heads toward Lake Spire Pass and Filnir and Abel head toward Lake Spire Pass. That's the end of episode 23 of Everywhere Must End. The <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Oh. Filnir still needs a rest. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah you'll, we're, you'll resources get your rest. are low. You'll get your rest. But I live... You live. Oh, uh, yeah. man. Incinerated two major, major uh, med- magic users. That's not oh, bad. Oh, my God. That's not bad. Jeez. Wow. Yeah, that was um, that was a lot of work with all the different people in it. I think I'm done with big, <laughs> big battle scenes for a bit. I think I'm hey, done. Hey, listen, you just got to get the party back together. Yep. Yeah. You know. <laughs> um. <laughs> I, I do have to congratulate you on on uh, how well you've been able to do that, though. Yeah, that large was really large well numbers done. of players, and the last few episodes with large numbers of players have, have gone really well. So yeah, I, I mean, it, it's it's fun to do. I have because we, you know everyone knows we play in Roll Twenty, uh, mm-hmm. which is excellent. Um, but I am playing with a twelve point one inch, um, you know, laptop screen, and <laughs> my laptop is just <laughs> packed with. Uh, character sheets and uh, <laughs> API buttons to push for initiative and constitution saving throws and all of this. Um, yeah, I was I was really concerned. I didn't want you to metagame, even though I know you're a good actor and you don't do that. You just never do that in this game. But that's one of the reasons why that phantasmal killer. I just didn't want you to have any idea. Yeah, what it yeah. was. Yeah. Um, no, that so was that's. Good. That's why I had you roll all those different saving throws and everything. I hope that didn't seem weird, uh, but it all it all made sense, especially after you did it. I was like, "Oh, I see what he's doing," and yes, I know what's happening. But <laughs> <laughs> well, and these it, larger battles definitely feel more epic. I mean, as things come to the head, right to yeah, a yeah. head, um, it definitely feels like we're escalating towards something. Well, and they, I mean, it's not like you got out unscathed it's and it's not even just like the <laughs> the <no>. resources <laughs> like the resources are down sure but like you, you you've cut you've cut in half almost uh the lake and hearth party standing militia <laughs> yeah standing mm-hmm. militia mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and so it's definitely not an ideal situation now that they have thrown in with you um but i will say that you know despo good shower now has essentially the holy symbol of Oglethorpe Island. I don't know if that's going to be something she or you guys want to do with that. Um, uh, but Yisben is like a, um, it's a very important sword artifact for these, for these folks. Um, well, hopefully it which, strikes some fear into their hearts when they see her riding down <laughs> on them with it. Right. And I, I think it might. it might. I think it might <laughs> have to see. Uh-huh. But they are protected by water. It's an island in in Little Finger Lake. So, and the rest we'll save for our bonus episode. That's right. Come on back for the bonus <laughs> episode. Subscribe everybody. to our Patreon. Woo. Give us go. a listen. We'll be uh, decompressing, debriefing, discussing our favorite moments and or and, most and talking, moments. Talking mm. a little bit about. Uh, some of these homebrew spells and how can we how we can make uh good ones coming up and maybe Ooh. uh maybe some of the community can join in on that patreon conversation um uh as we try to come up with something else i'm sure my some... favorite spell i will just say did not get used today swap meat yeah <laughs> you, what, i had what plans was that? i, I, I was that trying tom i was trying <laughs> i know i know it was so, it was so just... close but you didn't need to because you, you guys killed them no yeah uh, as already. soon as the plant growth happened i was like oh i've got hair beak i'll get over there except you know, then it's a level two yeah. and I don't have another action. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jonas is going to have to learn swap meat. Yep. Yeah, um, definitely. Swap it's gonna meat. Be- M-E-A-T. Yep. M-E-A-T. Yeah. Yes. So, John, what ha- should I tell him what happens, Tom? Yeah, tell him. You can it? tell him. 
Save it for the bonus. Bonus. Okay. There you go. All right. There you go. All, All right. right. <laughs> cool. Everybody, thanks for coming and listening. Uh, tune in on Patreon for the bonus episodes. Come back in two weeks to find out what happens with Phil Near and Herr Walter Faust. Oh, oh my God. It's a big thing. Pariso. What was going to happen with Pariso? <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. We still don't know. Abel never relayed his vision. Oh, man. No. More to talk no, about. Abel has a lot. Abel has a lot in store for, <laughs> for this next episode, I think. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Dungeon Dads. There you <laughs> go. Toodaloo, everybody. Toodaloo, everybody. Toodaloo. Hey, everybody. This is John. You like our show? Consider becoming a Patreon subscriber. It'll help us out a ton, and it gives you access to new content like our brand new premium campaign, Mountain City Mayhem. Head on over to patreon.com slash dungeon dads for more details and subscribe today.